One day, you turn on your computer to find this message, or this message, or this message. Ah! Or maybe you just bought a new SSD and you want to install a copy of Windows 10 on it. Well, in this video, I'll be showing you how to reinstall Windows 10 onto an external hard drive. You don't need a USB or a CD. All you need is a working computer and an external hard drive. With that said, let's get started. The first thing I need you to do is remove the corrupt hard drive from your computer. To do this, unscrew and remove the case from your computer. On a laptop, slide the hard drive back and it should come out easily. On your desktop computer, disconnect all the cables that are connected to the hard drive and once the hard drive is out, plug it into an external hard drive case or a SATA to USB adapter. If you can't take the hard drive out of your computer, then you will need to buy an external hard drive or if you have an external hard drive laying around, you can use that. For the next part, you'll need a working computer. What you'll need to do is plug in the external hard drive into the computer because we're going to format this drive. So make sure that all the important files are backed up somewhere that is not on the external hard drive. Next, search for this PC. Right click and click manage. In the management window, the first thing we want to do is go to disk management. We want to format our external hard drive to file system NTFS. You can find your USB external hard drive, then right click and click format. And then it's going to ask you if you want to format this drive, click yes. Next, what you want to do is make sure that the number one thing is file system NTFS. And then you want to leave this checked off. Perform a quick format. You can leave application unit size to default and hit OK. You can hit OK on the second prompt and it should take a couple of seconds. Then afterwards, the formatting is complete. It just says NTFS healthy active primary partition. You can close this window. The next thing we are going to get is the Windows 10 ISO. To get the Windows 10 ISO, you have to visit this link. I will leave the link in the description of this video. Once you're on the site, look for Create Windows 10 Installation Media and click the Download Tool button. It's a small file, it's a media creation tool, and I will save it to my desktop. In the meantime, we need one more piece of software, the Win to USB program, which is at this link. I will also leave the link in the description of this video. You can click the Download button. I'm going to save this to my desktop as well. Once those two downloads have completed, you want to open them up. The first one is the Media Creation Tool, which is the Windows 10 software. This software allows you to download the Windows 10 ISO, which we'll be using to install Windows 10 directly onto our external hard drive. You can click on Accept on the Terms and Conditions and wait until it loads. Afterwards, it's going to ask you what you want to do. Select the second option, which is creating installation media for USB flash drive, DVD or ISO file, then hit next. For this particular step, you can create your custom edition and architecture. But by default, this menu is checked off, which it uses to recommend the settings you have installed on your working machine currently. If you want custom settings, you can uncheck this and then adjust the settings. But I'll leave this at default and keep this box checked and then click next. And it's going to ask us to choose which media to use. Click on ISO file because we want the Windows ISO file. Then click next. Then you want to save it anywhere onto your machine. By the way, don't save it onto your external hard drive yet. I have already downloaded this file onto my computer. You can click next and you'll start creating this ISO file. I'm not going to click next because I have already downloaded this ISO file. It's quite big and it's going to take a few hours to download. You will need internet connection for it to create this ISO file. So all I wanted to use the Windows 10 setup was to download the ISO file. Next, you want to open up the Win to USB executable file. I'm going to open the Win to USB executable. On the license agreement, you can select I accept next. Then select next and then next again. Then you can choose if you want a desktop folder, then click next. Then you can click on install. And then you hit finish. Now, after the program has installed, open it up. You hit next on any prompts that pop up and then the program looks like this. The first thing you'll see is a window that says that it's checking for updates. All you need to do is click OK. And because we downloaded it straight from the source, it should be the latest one. Now, all you do is select this file icon over here and then you select the Windows on Windows ISO, which is called Windows ISO. And then you open it up. You have the option of operating system that you can choose from. I'm using Windows 10 Pro and I'd like that installed on my external hard drive. Then hit next. Then you want to select the destination disk. Now you want to select the external hard drive. The software may ask you to format the hard drive again. Just allow it to do that. 
after you will see this menu. You should see two options, they should be clicked. If they are not clicked on, then click on them. You can leave by default legacy mode and then hit next. Installation will take about 10 to 30 minutes. A few moments later. After WinTUSB is finished, you want to bring back the broken computer. You can insert the hard drive back into the computer or insert the external hard drive into the USB port. Then turn on the computer and immediately start pressing F2 or F12 to enter the BIOS menu. Make sure you have boot mode set to legacy support and if you have boot priority, select legacy first. If you don't have any of these menus, then don't worry, your computer will automatically configure itself. Now this part should apply to almost all computers. Make sure that fast boot is disabled. If you are booting from your external hard drive, make sure that the USB boot is enabled and that is the first boot priority. If you inserted the hard drive back into the computer, then you don't have to worry about that. Just make sure that fast boot is disabled. Then you want to go to the exit tab and then exit saving changes. Or you can press F10 then exit saving changes. Now your computer will restart and Windows will start. And it will start as if you were starting Windows for the very first time because it's starting afresh. So it's gonna say getting ready. Now you'd assume that this is the step you'd get if you're using a USB bootable drive. It has a little getting ready screen and after that we're gonna set it up. After this, you're gonna go through the configurations which I will slide through with you. So the first thing we have is the license agreement. You can read through it and then click accept. It's gonna ask you to log into your Microsoft account. When you have done that, click next. Then it's going to ask you to create a pin. After that, you can click next. And it's gonna take you to choose privacy settings for your device. You can read through it and configure the software to your liking. Then click accept. Next is going to take you to this. It's going to take you to this. Let's customize your experience page. I'm going to skip this for now. Then it's going to ask you if you want to use your Android phone for your PC. You know what? I'm going to skip this for now, but I am going to do it later. Next is going to take you to this page where it will explain to you what your Microsoft account and OneDrive will do to your files. You can read through it and then hit next. It's going to ask you if you want a Microsoft free trial. I'm going to decline it. Then it's going to ask you if you want Cortana to help you get things done. I'm going to click on not now. Then Windows will start setting up your preferences. And there you have it. You have officially installed Windows onto an external hard drive. This is a fully working activated piece of software. And there is the activation code. And that's it. You have installed a genuine copy of Windows 10 onto an external hard drive that you can use for whatever you want. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it or found this video helpful in any way, I would really appreciate it if you gave this video a like and clicked on the subscribe button. Turn on post notifications to be the first to know when I publish a new video. Also, if you have any constructive criticism or any questions or anything, comment them down below. Until next time, thanks for watching. Peace.